Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the August uh, um, Ordinary Council meeting for the Shire of Esperance. Uh, I'll start the meeting with the acknowledgement to country. The Shire of Esperance acknowledges the Kepikur Wajari people of the Noongar Nation and Naju people who are the traditional custodians of this land and their continuing connection to land, waters and community. We pay respects to, our, to the elders, past, present and emerging, and we extend that respect to other Aboriginal Australians today. Thank you all for um, making the time to come in today. Um, Councillors, uh, senior staff, we have all of the um, senior staff here except the CEO who is currently on leave of absence. So welcome all. Um, we also have six of the councillors. We have um, Steve McMullen, who is away on leave, um, Councillor Oborn, who is an apology, and also Councillor Davies, who is an apology for today that have been notified. They can be listed as in the apologies, please. Item four is applications for leave of absence. Do I have anyone that has Councillor Das? Yes, yeah, so I'd like to apply for a leave of absence from the 4th to the 12th of September inclusive, please. Thank you. Do I have any other? Councillor Graham. Let's work that out. <laughs> Give me a sec. Uh, yeah, I'd like to apply for a leave of absence uh, from the 14th to the 22nd of next month. No worries. Thank you. Go fishing. <laughs> Are there any other applications for leave of absence? I'd also like to apply for a leave of absence between the 7th to the 16th of September. Can I have someone move that those leave of absence be Councillor Stasevich to a seconder? Councillor De Haas, thank you. Uh, doesn't require any debate. Those in favour? Six nil, thank you. Announcements by the person presiding. There is no, or I have no announcements. Declarations of members' interest. Are there any declarations of financial interest? Oh, yeah, I've got a declaration of final in um, of of interest. Uh, Financial interest is the word I'm looking for. Uh, for 12.1.1, uh, for an ag building on lot 192 Daly Up Road, Daly Up, because I'm the owner of that property, and I'm also a councillor, so first time we've had a big shed come to council for a while. And this is not a big shed. This is just a <laughs> middle-sized shed. Thank you. Are there any other uh, declarations of financial interest? Declaration of proximity interest. Is there any declaration of proximity interest? Uh, declarations of impartiality interest. Councillor De Haas. Yes, I'd like to declare a declaration of impartiality interest on 12.4.2, the event funding request for Converge Esperance, as I am the president of the Esperance Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Thank you. Mr Walker. Uh, yes, through the Chair, I'd like to uh, declare an impartiality interest in item 12.3.2, prioritisation of CSRFF small grant applications, as I'm a member of the Esperance Bay Yacht Club. Thank you. Are there any further declarations of impartiality interest? Thank you. Uh, just before we go to question, uh, to point seven, I'd just, sorry, apologise, uh, Mr Hayden Smith and Jeff Vivian from the media, welcome. and. Um, Thank you very much for, for coming along. Um, so item seven is uh, public question time. Mr Sinclair, do you have a, would you like to come forward, please? If you can just hit the red button. Yep, beautiful. Awesome. Hey everyone, um, my name's Stuart. Uh, I'm here today as a community member, not just a shared employee. A dedicated skateboarder for the last 20 years um, and common user of the skate park facility, what we've got in town there. Uh, I'd just like to request an update uh, on the Esperance Youth Precinct and the report that was released uh, just over four years ago now. Um, in the report, it does state that the youth community has overgrown the current facility 
and an extension to the existing park uh, is required as the community has already outgrown the current facility. Uh, two statements above there, which I can convey are very much still accurate. Um, there's been a boom in skate park popularity, uh, especially in the younger age brackets, which means the skate park is very congested with users and also parents. Um, even during the winter months this year, it's been very crowded. Um, it's been eight years since the skate park was built and four years since the report was released. Hopefully the Shire has a plan to move forward with a skate park extension to ease the congestion on the current facility um, and offer better recreation opportunities for all ages, abilities and programme levels. So overall, my question is where the Shire is at with the youth precinct, what um, plans there is to move forward. And yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very kindly for the question. And as always, these plans always sit in the background and a lot of them are, re are requiring funding. For, for the roles, but I think it is good and thank you for taking an interest in that activity and also in that precinct and, and making sure that we you know stick to the plans that are out there. As far as where the plan is exactly, I will hand over to Acting CEO, Mr. Crew. Thank you, Chair, uh, and thank you for the question. We'll probably have to take this question on notice unless Mr. Walker, the Director of, of Asset Management has any further information for us? Yeah, no drama. I can give an update through the chair. Uh, so since that report was released, we've done the pump track, um, which was a $400,000 investment into the youth precinct. And we've also done the toilet block there, which was a $300,000 investment into that youth precinct. Um, next priority project for us will be to look at putting lights on the pump track so it can be used after dark. Um, and then we will look at further, obviously, as the Shire President said, We've got these plans in the background, so we know where we head. Um, and if there's opportunities that arise in the future, we can then put our hands up. But to do an extension to the skate park, you'd be looking at about a half million dollar plus project. Um, so it's not small figures we were talking about. Um, and we'd probably need to apply for funding and the like to do that next step or the next extension. Um, but we will have a look at, yeah, is there some small stuff like some shelters and the like we could do in the interim? But yeah, an extension won't be cheap um, and probably will need support outside the Shire. No worries. Does that answer your question? Would you like some further information? Uh, no, that pretty much answers all of it. Um, obviously, if you guys ever need uh, any help or assistance from the users of the skate park, we're always here to advise and help. Um, one thing I would suggest is obviously to make some sort of priority over a sheltered facility as well. Um, the skate park is unusable during the uh, wet winter months um, and even during the dry months of winter actually once the evening comes it gets quite dewy. Um, so some sort of sheltered uh, section would be awesome. Um, good on you, first of all, for bringing this to the, the attention of us. Um, I was wondering if you can leave. Your, it was very well worded. That would be great. I think yeah. that would be. But um, a few things. Just on the, the grant funding, because yep, clearly, and I know it's in, it's in the council plan, isn't it? Yes, so it's there, which is a good start. But um, are we actively looking for any funding for that at this stage or is, do you know what's coming forth that might be? Uh, no, I don't know what we're actively looking at. Um, the previous funding for the skate park came out of the federal funding for local roads and community infrastructure. So the council at that stage prioritised those two projects um, in their various stages, which is how they has got up. Otherwise, potentially they wouldn't have got up um, without that funding those programs um, and I guess we've just had to take a step back and look um, and then mix it in with the other programs and the other public open space works we've got um, but happy it's in the council plan happy to look at it and work out what are the priorities moving forward and do we need to pursue them and potentially for future budgets mm -hmm. one last little yep. and to do with the undercover um, thing this is something I've been meaning to bring you know to but I thought you know you sound like quite the expert this is it's no, that's all right. Look, we'll leave that because that will, that we will, if you like, you can approach me later 
and we'll organise a briefing with the Shire staff and the councillors, and that will be the forum to cover those sorts of things, not in a public meeting. Just thank you. Ask. No, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks very much. Are there any further questions from the public? Thank you. Um, item eight is public addresses and deputations. If you run them. Um, item nine is petitions, which is there is none. Item eleven is delegates' reports without discussion. So we have a list of the delegates' reports. Yeah. Um, is there anything you wish to ask, at Councillor Sussmich? No, thank you. Councillor Johnson? Um, I, I do need to add the Senior Citizens Committee um, meeting yesterday that I attended. And I was just going to give a little bit of feedback, if I may, um, regarding the, that committee meeting. Um, it's been a little while since I've attended because we had a few communication issues with emails getting to us to a... Um, let, Jennifer and myself know that when the meeting was on. But it was good to get back there. They're always a bit of fun. Anyway, they're doing lots of things like normal. I've just written a few things down here because I did say I'd mention this at the meeting for them. They have a very exciting project happening at the moment, which I don't know if everyone's aware of, but it's their Senior Moments 2025 calendar. And they've just completed their naked photo shoots for over the last few weekends. They're highly excited. I mean, it was just brilliant, honestly. It was the best committee me meeting to actually attend. And um, I found them very inspirational, and I hope I'm having as much fun as them when I reach their age, that's for sure. I got a sneak peek of a few of the shops that they're using, and trust me, they are gold and well worth buying a calendar for. Anyway, they are looking for businesses to donate through adver ad advertising throughout the calendar. Um, I did say I'd give them a little bit of a plug here. She just gave me a little list. So far, they have a commitment from Rick Wilson for 400 and Haslam's for 400. And they also have further commitments from Inside Out Brass Shop, Bayer Biles Chiropractor, Esperance Smash Repairs, Pink Lake Butchers, Aurelia's Ice Creamery, and South Coast Foods and Jolly King. But I just want to say to the community out there, get behind this because these girls are so excited. They've got big plans. They're um, they're getting some TV exposure, I think, soon. And they've told me that in Tasmania, a similar thing raised $96,000. So I think that's what they're aiming for. <laughs> and um, look, I've got a fair bit more written down here, but I'll keep it short. But I, hopefully it's ready for the, the show, the calendar. And I, we did talk about the possibility, and I said I'd get back to them, of them being able to put a little stand at the Shire stall. And I did think they might actually have live models, you know, rotating around that can draw the people in. That was kind of my little thought for them. <laughs> anyway, get behind it. Esperance is great. Thank you. That's it. Uh, Council Flanagan? Uh, as Council Council Lahas? Nothing to add, thank you. Council Graham? And I'll have mine as tabled. Thank you very much. Um... That's the delegates report. Uh, my apologies, I missed item 10, which is confirmation of the minutes. Are there any questions in regards to the minutes of the last meeting that were sent out? You know, only because I have mentioned it to the secretary before and it has never been fixed up. And now that we've got him as acting the, CEO. The point? Well, his name's spelt wrong. Mr. Argrave, and it's on the, um, the uh, opening page and, and it's wrong every month and he he probably puts up with it his whole life but acting CEO I think we should correct it it's a good date to correct it going forward so that is a mistake that needs correcting on those minutes I think before they're confirmed if that's okay thank you Are there any further questions in regards to the minutes can I have someone move that the minutes are true and accurate correct with the correction of the thank you yes does which seconder Councillor Flanagan, thank you. Um, no further discussion. Those in favour? Thank you. Item 
Item 12, 12 12.1 is a development application of an agricultural building on lot 192. I'll just ask Mr. Graham to leave the room as he has a financial interest in this. Thank you. Councillor Graham. Acting CEO, as you still hold that role, um, are there any comments or that you wish to make in regard to this item? Uh, thank you, Chair. No, everything as per the report. It's uh, a large shed that wouldn't normally have come to council, except for the fact that it's um, according to our policy, senior staff and um, councillors, policy number 53. Uh, would require this one to come to council. So that's the reason that it's here tonight. Thank you. Are there any questions in regards to this item? Don't anyone wish to move the officer's recommendation? Councillor Flanagan, thank you. Second, Councillor De Haas. Do you wish to speak to your motion, Councillor? Um, I'll, I'll just move the motion first, if I could. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> My apologies. So I'll move the officer's recommendation um, that the council approve development application 10.2024.554.9.1 for an agricultural building at lot 192, bracket 1411, Dalyup Road, Dalyup, subject to the conditions uh, 1 through to 7 and the advice notes 1 through to 6. Thank you. Councillor De are you happy to second that still? Thank you. Councillor Manning, would you like to speak to your motion? Um, nothing other than to state that it's a very straightforward um, um, application um, that, that could have ordinarily been approved under delegation. So. Um, yeah, I'd like to offer nothing other than it's a medium-sized shed, not a big shed. <laughs> Thank you. So anyone wish to speak against the motion or an amendment? Councillor Hass, would you like to speak for the motion as a seconder? No, I think Councillor Flanagan handled that one well enough. Thank okay. you. Is there anyone that wishes to speak against the motion? Anyone for the motion or an amendment? I take it you're ready to vote. Those in favour? Five nil. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Flanagan. Thank you, Councillor Graham. The officer's recommendation was passed 5 0. <laughs> Presumptuous. Um, item 12.3, um, as there's nothing in 12.2 for asset management. Uh, item 12.3.1, the financial services report. Ms Baxter, do you have any comments that you wish to make in regards to this item? Thank you. Are there any questions in regards to this item? The item being on page 28 with the officer's recommendation. Does it have anyone that wishes to move the officer's recommendation? Councillor Dahas. Yes, I'd like to move the officer's re recommendation that Council receive the attached report entitled Financial Management Report for the month of July 2024. Thank you. Do I have a second for that motion? Councillor Sarsovich, thank you. Do you wish to speak to your motion, Councillor Dehas? Certainly. As always, I'm happy to move this report. It's always good to see the comment. The Council is solvent and I do not consider that there are any other matters of liquidity that I would bring to Council's attention. I would also like to express my appreciation for the new and improved format. So thank you, staff, for your wonderful work on that. Thank you. Does anyone wish to speak against the motion? Councillor Starsovich, would you like to speak for the motion as a seconder? Nothing further to add. Does anyone wish to speak against the motion or for the motion or an amendment? I'll take it you are ready to vote. Those in favour? Six nil. Thank you. Item 12.3.2 on page 71. This is a prioritisation of the CSRFF small grants applications. Uh, Ms Baxter, do you have any comments that are relevant to this item? Thank you. Are there any questions in regards to this item? Uh, the officer's recommendation is on page 73. Do I have anyone willing to move the officer's recommendation or alternate? Councillor Flanagan. 
Um, I move the officer's recommendation that Council 1 endorses the CSRFF July Small Grants application from the Estrons Bay Yacht Club Incorporated. Um, upgrade of female change rooms and ablutions plus refit male toilets project for the 50% project cost amount of $73,675 exclusive of GST. Two, prioritises the application from the Esperance Bay Yacht Club Incorporated. Thank you. Do I have a seconder for the motion? Councillor Graham, thank you. Do you wish to speak to your motion, Councillor Billington? Uh, thank you, Mr President. Only to say that um, uh, this has no financial uh, implications for the Shire. It's simply um, the endorsement or prioritisation from the local government um, in the process for applying for the, um, the state government funding for the CSRFF. Um, and it's a very worthwhile project. Thank you. Thank you, Colin. Is anyone wish to speak against the motion? Councillor Graham, Mr. Second, did you wish to speak for the motion? Yeah, just speak towards for the motion for the Esperance Bay Yacht Club, um, which I was a part of in my youth um, when it was brand new. So I'm getting pretty old, so I reckon the toilets probably don't change yet the same as I do. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, is there anyone wish to speak against the motion? Anyone wish to speak for the motion or an amendment? I'll take it you're ready to vote. Those in favour? Six no. Thank you. Item 12.3.3 is a lease variation for Airport Hangar 8. Ms Baxter, do you have any... No? Are there any questions in regards to this item? There are no questions. The officer's recommendation is on page 76. Do I have someone willing to move the officer's record? Councillor Stasevich. Um, yeah, I'd like to move the officer's recommendation that council amend the lease agreement with Scott Mackey and Darren Rogers for Esperance Airport Hangars 4, 6, 7 and 8 located on portion of lot 15 Coolgardie Esperance Highway Gibson to increase the lease area for Hangar 8 to 315 metres squared subject to one lease preparation fee of $155 including GST being payable to additional rent of $1,209.35, including GST payable for the 24-25, subject to annual rent reviews based on CPI, and three, all lease terms and conditions being as per council standard lease variation template, and four, the disposition being advertised in accordance with S3.58 of the Local Government Act. 1995. Thank you. I have a seconder for the motion. <laughs> Councillor Johnson, thank you. Do you wish to speak for your motion, Councillor Stasmich? No, I think this is just a simple, yeah, amendment to a lease to upgrade a business that's very worthwhile in Esperance. Thank you. Thank you. Have anyone speak against the motion? For an amendment? Councillor Johnson, this is a second. Do you wish to speak for the motion? No, nothing to add, but thank just you. to say that business people of Esperance contribute a lot and this is obviously administrative. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone wish to speak against the motion? For the motion? In that case I take it you're ready to vote. Those in favour? Six nil. Thank you. Item 12.3.4 uh, which is a new lease on lots 388 and lot 389 Black Street on the deposited plan 209753, reserves 31633 and 34556 on page 80. Ms Baxter, do you have any relevant, any comments? Uh, no, just to say that um, with the lack of um, supply of childcare in Esperance, it's pretty critical that we keep this one going. Thank you. Are there any questions in regards to this item? If there are no questions, do I have someone willing to move the officer's recommendation? Councillor Dahas? Yes, I'd like to <clears throat> move the officer's recommendation that Council enter into a new lease with the Esperance Playgroup Association Incorporated for lot 388 and lot 389 Black Street, deposited plan 209753, Reserves 31633 and 34556, Esperance WA 6450, subject to 1. Department of Lands Approval, 2. The term of lease being 5 years, 
three, annual lease fee of $110, including GST being payable. Four, lease preparation fee of $155, including GST being payable. And five, all lease terms and conditions being as per council standard community lease template. Thank you. Do I have a second for the motion? Councillor Starsbridge, thank you. Do you wish to speak to your motion, Councillor Dice? Yes, please. Um, just the Esperance Play Group have been long standing tenants of this premise since 2015. And as per the officer's comment, there are no concerns with this lease being approved, and it would be good to see them continue there, especially as Mrs. Baxter said, with the lack of daycare in town, it's important that we keep our play groups up and running. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone wish to speak against the motion? Councillor Starshevich is the seconder. Do you wish to speak for the motion? Nothing further to add, thanks. Thank you. Is there anyone wish to speak against the motion, for the motion, or an amendment? In which case, I'll take it you're ready to vote. Those in favour? Six nil. Thank you. Item 12.4, which is executive services. So item 12.4.1, the information bulletin on page 83. Um, as the acting CEO, do you have any comment in regards to this item? Uh, thank you, Chair. Nothing further to add to the report. Thank you, Mr. Group. <coughs> Does anyone have any questions in regards to this item? Okay, so does anyone wish to move the officer's recommendation or an alternate? Councillor Johnson. Right. Um, that council accepts one information bulletin August 2024 and two council prioritises summary corporate performance July 2024. Thank you. Do I have a second for the motion? Councillor Cunningham, thank you. Do you wish to speak to your motion, Councillor John? Well, I'd actually just like to say, to do with this, because it is an uh, important part of the, the minutes, but just to let the public know, we do a lot of discussion about this particular item at the agenda, so if anyone ever looks at the agenda and looks through this and has questions or anything, I urge you to come to the agenda and, and participate. Thank you. And wish to speak against the motion? As a second, we do wish to speak for the motion, Councillor Prince. Uh, nothing further to add, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Anyone wish to speak against the motion? For the motion or an amendment? I'll take it that you are ready to vote. Those in favour? That's <laughs> six now. Thank you. Item 12.4.2 on page 109. Mr. Acting CEO, is there any comments you wish to make on this item? Uh, thank you, Chair. No, nothing to add to the report. Um, thank you. Are there any questions in regards to this item? Does anyone wish to move the officer's recommendation or an alternate? Councillor Dahas? Yes, I'd like to um, move an alternate officer's recommendation that council allocate $10,000 towards the Converge Esperance 2024 Business and Industry Forum from the Event Seed Funding Budget and two, encourage the ECCI to apply for funding support for future years through the Shires Community Grants Program. I have a seconder for that motion. Councillor Stasovich, do you wish to speak to your motion, Councillor? I certainly do. Um, councillors, I strongly urge you to support this item. The Shire has made the commitment to support the development and growth of local business through the economic development strategy and growth of local business, sorry, and the signing of the Small Business Development Corporation Small Business Friendly Charter. The benefit to Esperance businesses from this event are multitudinous. And as a council, we have the opportunity to take a leading role in supporting this event. This is particularly important given its strategic alignment to numerous council strategies. For those who are doubting or are concerned that seed funding is not the correct funding for this event, 
I will remind you that the resolution endorsed by Council at the May 2023 OCM reads that Council endorsed the Esperance Events Discussion Paper 22 to 27 and 2 consider a budget allocation during the development of 2023 and 24 municipal budget to enable seed funding for new events and attraction of conferences. Converge Esperance is both. In this first year of seed funding, $30,000 was allocated. Two events applied and were granted $10,000 each. This year, we dropped the budget to $20,000. Why should an event be penalised? Because we lowered the budget. We show continuous support for the many sporting clubs and events, the arts and fun events, as we should, and I feel that we need to show support to our community's businesses. The Esperance Chamber of Commerce and Industry is the pinnacle of support for local business, and by not supporting this event, we're showing a lack of support to local business. So let us now, as a council, stand behind our council plan and strategies and show support for our local business community. Sorry, community. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone wish to speak against the motion? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I, I speak against the motion um, due to my concerns, and I've, I've discussed this with others, um, just in relation to... It's, it's one thing to just state simply that it does a, a project does a certain thing. Then there's another case of actually stating how and, and why it actually meets what you're saying. And I can see that there's no demonstration in the information that's been provided initially with the, um, the original um, application and then the subsequent information that demonstrates how it's going to actually benefit business. What are the tangible things it's going to do to, to assist our businesses? Um, simply to state that it's got some speakers and um, some workshops um, doesn't sufficiently... Um, address that issue for me. Um, the second thing is, is that a key component of the seed funding strategy was that it was actually going to bring in people into Esperance, not simply just um, be for local businesses or local community events. And I saw nothing that uh, would indicate to me that there was going to be an attraction um, for, for bringing people into Esperance. And on that basis, I don't believe that I can... I think it's actually a very, very worthwhile enterprise, but I don't believe that it's sufficiently um, addressed um, the concerns I have, and I believe that um, the original recommendation in the form that was presented to Council by Officers um, is, is the one that I should support. Thank you. Councillor Sussbridge, do you wish to speak for the motion as a seconder? Um, yeah, look, I... I think Councillor De Haas and Councillor Flanagan have both raised very good points. Um, I'd like to support it still, just I think, just to give them that seed. Every other event that we have supported has started off from somewhere. You have to start at the beginning to grow these things. So I think in that respect, that's why I'd like to support it. Thank you. Is there any wish to speak against the motion? Councillor Johnson. I think Councillor Flanagan has really summed it up very well. Um, it, to me, it's the wrong avenue for funding. Um, we obviously did some emailing this afternoon. Um, it was a bit rushed, but at the fact that that funding pool as well has decreased, that $10,000, I think is a really big negative for, for um, endorsing the 10000 instead of the proposed officer's recommendation of the 5000 Um and, and I'm a little bit perplexed because my understanding is this event's kind of pretty much organised and it's going ahead anyway and I just kind of think, so it's not really like it's hanging in the balance for this funding, obviously, and, and, and again, I reiterate what Councillor Flanagan said, there's not anything tangible here, like grant funding for me, normally, you know, it's really um, set out, you know what it's going to, it's... Um, you, you get the results back to see what, what went with it. Anyway, so, yeah, I feel um, quite strongly that we should be doing the officer's recommendation. Thank you. 
Thank you. Anyone wish to speak for the motion? I'll speak for the motion. Um, I agree that $10,000 is a lot of money to give to a business, to an event that is going to um, assist the businesses in Esperance. And if you're looking for ideas and what this can do, you, have, you only have to look to our northern neighbours um, in Kalgoorlie around the, um, the business one that they do up there, which is down the track, um, which attracts an awful lot of businesses into town and a lot of people into town. Also, there um, is the gold one that, that they do. Yeah, the diggers and dealers, and that attracts a huge amount of people and businesses in. And I know that this one's not at, not at that level, but I really believe that we need to start to encourage people and, and to show people and showcase the businesses that we have here in Esperance and the capacity that those businesses have. And by allocating funding to a, to a function such as this that is going to allow those businesses to network, to allow those businesses to listen to other speakers and to start to build networks outside of Esperance, I think is really important. The whole idea of the funding around it was to do business and tourism events that would help to grow and bring people into town. And I believe that this, these have shown in other areas that they do bring people to town and I believe that this will also bring people to town. And I also think that trying to determine whether there is or isn't enough funding in the pool is irrelevant to the application. I believe that the application should be looked at um, on its own awards, not as to whether the, the funding should or shouldn't be put to a different source. It's whether this application and what they are trying to achieve with this event is, is that worth the Shire of Esperance allocating $10,000 to show that we are behind the businesses in Esperance. Mm -hmm. We know they've copped the belting recently with the shutter of some of the mines and the other issues that some of the businesses are, are facing in town. Um, and that the Shire is behind those businesses and wants to see businesses flourish within town. Thank you. Is there anyone wish to speak against the motion? The speaker for the motion? Councillor de Haas, as the mover of the motion, you have the right of reply. Thank you. Um, I would just like to add, and for Councillor Flanagan's information, there are people from out of town attending this event. At the moment, we have people registered from Canberra, Albany, Kalgoorlie, amongst others, smaller businesses from Ravensthorpe and Norseman, but from as far afield as Canberra are coming to this event. The speakers, I believe, are staying extra nights to bring extra dollars into town. They will be staying at accommodation, they will be eating in town, and they will be participating in tourism events as well. So that is building on to an event. It is attracting tourists into town. It is attracting other people into town. As I stated in my speech earlier, the endorsement that we gave to this seed funding was for new events and the attraction of conferences. Converge Esperance is both a new event and a conference. Yes, it's an Esperance-based conference, but that's one of the best sorts because we can build on our own local businesses. We can bring people into town to visit these businesses and to learn about these businesses. Some of the backbone of this event, apart from the speakers that we have, are workshops that will be with the um, Esperance Telluric Native Title Aboriginal Corporation on aquaculture and what their future is with that. Australia's Golden Outback, Destination Marketing, Urbis, Regional Livability, Horizon Power and Telstra regarding regional connectivity, G2IT, talking about cyber security, and Southern Ports Authority with a planning for the future workshop. So as I said earlier, I would really urge you to support this and to support our local businesses who are struggling in these times. Thank you. Thank you. Does that answer the debate? I take it you guys are ready to vote. Those in favour? Those against? 4-2.
Thank you. Item 13.1, uh, item 13, which is reports of committees. So item 13.1 is the amendment to the risk management policy, um, which is on page 119. Ms Baxter, do you have any comments in regards to this item? Um, thank you, Chair. Um, just to say that this, the main changes um, that have been made to the policy lie in the changes to the Work Health and Safety Act that is now in place for local government in Western Australia. Thank you. Are there any questions in regards to this item? Is there anyone willing to move the officer's recommendation? Councillor Fannigan. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I uh, move the uh, committee recommendation that Council adopt the risk management policy inclusive of amendments, inclusions and deletions as reviewed. Thank you. Do I have a second for the motion? Councillor Sarsovich, thank you. Councillor Plannigan, do you wish to speak to your motion? Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, nothing really beyond what's actually set out in the, um, the officer's <coughs> report. Um, there's been significant changes to the Work Health and Safety Act and regulations. They represent a, a significant risk to local government or anyone carrying on business um, that isn't across that and doesn't manage their business and the risk around that um, sufficiently. I think it's prudent um, that we, uh, we stay on top of this and we um, amend our risk management policies um, to reflect that. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any speakers against? Recommendation? Councillor Sarsfish, do you wish to speak for the motion? No, I think Councillor Flanagan covered it all. <laughs> Thank you. Does anyone wish to speak against the motion? For the motion or an amendment? I'll take it you're ready to vote. Those in favour? Six in. Thank you. Um, item 13.2, which is a minute of the Audit Committee on page 139. Officer's recommendation on that same page. Um, Mr. Grieve, as the acting CEO, do you have any comments in regards to this item? Uh, nothing to add, thank you. Are there any questions in regards to this item? Do I have anyone wishing to move the officer's recommendation or an alternate? Councillor Flanagan. Why not? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. <coughs> I move the officer's recommendation that Council accept the unconfirmed minutes of the Audit Committee meeting held on the 7th of August 2024. Do I have a second for that motion? Councillor Johnson. Councillor Flanagan, do you wish to speak to your motion? Um, nothing other than to, to um, congratulate staff um, and um, Council officers in relation to the audit report. Um, they've, and the fact that the audit report only identified one single issue in relation to, to a um, oh, pebble blank procurement, um, and um, in, in so far as incurring um, or raising a purchase order and then having that uh, that payment um, um, generated, um, the really really um, good thing about that was that um, and out, as outlined at the agenda briefing and at the audit committee meeting is that council officers um, are very diligent and they pick those things up in any event. It was just a technical um, thing that was picked up by the auditors. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone wish to speak against the motion? Um, no, Councillor Starsevich is encouraging me to also note that um, the officers, our, our finance officers received an acknowledgement of um, best practice from the Office of the Auditor General and that's included um, as in the minutes of the report. Um, it's pretty rare to get them, so I'm pretty excited to have it. I'm pretty proud. Thank you. Pat on our back. <laughs> you know, uh, Councillor Johnson, do you wish to speak as a second? No, but I was actually going to bring that up. So, yes, they got the gold star. Well done. <laughs> well done, team. Um, and not only that, just to add to what Councillor Flanagan said, um, when those issues do arise, they generally sound like they were unavoidable as such because it's, it's essentially like um, 
the situation happens and then they just need to play catch up afterwards. So it's it's not really a concern. Thank you. Who wants to speak against the motion? Or for the motion? Look, I would also like to just congratulate the staff on giving the recommendation from the Auditor General, I think, um, for best practice. I think it does show that we do have a very, very diligent crew, um, particularly in the in the finance division and, and ably led by Ms Baxter. So congratulations and thank you very much for the work that you do. Um, it, it certainly shows and, and rewards the hard work that's done in that role. So thank you. If there's no further discussion, I take it you're ready to vote. Those in favour? Thank you. Seconded. <coughs> mm. uh, item 14, motions of which notice has been given. They didn't throw you a curly one on your day off. No? Okay. Uh, item 15, members' questions with or without notice. Item 16. Johnson. Well, I just I had a busy afternoon, Mr. Walker, but I did have a question that I did want, and I wanted to give it to you first. But so maybe I should leave it and just, yeah, okay. It's not a hard one, but I'll just wait one second. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Item sixteen, urgent business approved by decision. No urgent business. Thank you. Uh, no matters behind closed doors. Public question time. There's nobody here with the public question time. In which case, I will close the meeting. Thank you.